Hola. Hola. Soy Lloyd. Cool. I'm Lloyd Griffith. You're probably wondering how I ended up hanging out with Messi. Well... Varane, Chalinoglu, Leroy Sane, Messi and Suarez. That's my world's top 11. What about Lewandowski? No. Who's in yours, then? Um, let me guess. The Grimsby Town starting 11? Yeah, but with me in goal and Messi up front, like, I'm not an idiot. You've got a choice of, like, the best players in the world, mate, and you're picking Pearson over Philip Lahm. He's having a great game. I don't know what the problem is. The problem is, you need to think bigger. You need to think outside of Grimsby. Yeah, Reese is right, Lloyd. You've got to do some research. He's on the quest. The quest for the best. He will not rest. Finding the best. Team of the year. And picking it here. He has no fear. Who's unbelievable? Who is incompatible? Who is incredible? Which one is credible? Who is incompatible? Playing it beautiful. 11 suitable team of the year. Who's he? What are we doing? Who would you say is the best footballer in the world right now? That's a big question. I know, mate. That's why I'm asking people. Ah, Ronaldo. Jordi Alba. Maybe Neymar. Also, is the best footballer in the world. Lineker. Anyone that still currently plays, though. Two of the world's best strikers. Probably Vardy. No, yeah. Thomas Muller. You're going to have to make a decision for me. There's an equal amount of food on both. David De Gea. Dale. you begin. Just go with whatever you think. Head, heart. What are your three guts? Coutinho. Suarez. Sergio Aguero. It's Messi. Yeah. Just a llama. Like, what do they actually know? If I go on asking everybody in the world who should be my team of the year, this will take a year. I need to go and ask the right people, not llamas. I'm just doing some scientific research. What? Can we get to Barcelona in five hours? We're at Barcelona's training ground, and I'm about to speak to a man that has worked with Barcelona for over 40 years as player, as manager, and more importantly, as scout, responsible for finding some of the biggest names in football, including uh, Lionel Messi. Carlos. OK. Cool Thank you very one. much for today. Muchas gracias. Uh, um, before we start, shall I call you Carlos or shall I call you Charlie? In casa, me llaman Carlos. In el mundo del fútbol, Charlie. OK, I'll call you Charlie. Exactamente. Sí. ¿Hablas español? I can't speak Spanish, but I understand absolutely everything. Todo tenemos un poco difícil. So I'm on the quest to find the team of the year, and in that team I'm going to need some young blood. So who would you suggest as some of the best young players out there at the moment? Hombre, hay varios. Yo empezaría, por ejemplo, por uh, Berratti, Rabiat, Barán, Gese, Munir. Pues yo te recomendaría a Munir, ¿no? Porque es un hombre gol. Es un hombre que tiene esta visión, tiene esta habilidad, y eso es muy difícil de encontrar en el fútbol mundial. Yo también escogería a Rabiot, porque es un hombre que, a pesar de su juventud, es un hombre que es también un conductor de juego y, además, pues, eh, tiene un tiro de media distancia eh, importantísimo. Por lo tanto, otro jugador importante en el futuro del fútbol europeo. So, youngsters aside, one player that I have to pick in my team, who would you go for? Messi. 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 <laughs> like, I'm quite a good uh, goalkeeper. I just wondered if you fancy, like, watching me in goal, just maybe give your opinion, see if I can still so, yeah. make it, yeah? <laughs> okay. Today was definitely a resounding success. The man that found Messi found me some great young players for my squad. Maybe now I need someone that deals with cold, hard facts. Oh, and I also saw Neymar, and he said hi to Charlie. We're here in Amsterdam to speak to a statistician called Duncan Alexander. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh God. Using a statistician means that you take the heart out. They're looking at that player going, this person has made the most amount of tackles, this person has done the most amount of assists, this person has got the best hair. So, Duncan, thank you very much for meeting me today. Hello. You are a statistician, correct?
I asked you to come up with some suggestions of players that statistically are outstanding. We'll go with goalkeepers first. Who have you gone for? First up is Jan Sommer. OK. If I draw this... Recognise that? That's a penalty area, yeah. and that is Saturn. Yeah. yeah. What we've got in our database is millions of shots. So for Jan Sommer, what we can do, if we can look at all the shots that he faced last season yeah. and basically work out, given the history of those shots and those positions, whether they would have been goals or not. He actually saved his team 11 goals last season, which is more than any other keeper in Europe's top five league. For Jan Sommer. Yeah. Um, who have you got in defence? Phil Jagielka. Phil Jagielka? Yeah. From Everton? That's the one. Wow! He has had more defensive actions than any other player in Europe this year, which is things like tackles, interceptions, blocks. Um, so he's not necessarily the best defender, but he's done the most defending. Who have you gone for up front? Baz Dost. Baz Dost? He's, uh, he's got a conversion rate of over 40%. Um, wow. Which is... He basically means he's scoring almost one in two shots. I, I know that you're the statistician, but one goal every two shots is better than one goal every two games. Well, not if you take three games to have two shots. How much of it did you understand? I understood the majority of it, and if I didn't understand it, I think I looked like I did. That's how clubs use stats and data, is because they don't just sit around going, oh, look, Ronaldo's good, Messi's good, because the data does show that, but it's also there for finding sort of rough diamonds and unearthing players with performance levels that might not be obvious to the untrained eye. Do you think it will affect your team? Definitely. I really do. Um, I think there's a few players in here that I haven't really thought of. I mean, it is hard to argue with numbers. Now that I've dealt with the brains, maybe it's time for the brawn. So I'm on the quest to find my team of the year. Let me stop you there. Um, have you, you haven't picked it yet, have you? I've basically... My initial one was the Grimsby Town starting at 11 with Messi up front and me in goal. What? Where am I, bruv? <laughs> So strength is your unique ability. Yeah. Are there any other strikers that possess something just something special? Ibra. Yeah. Hundred um, percent. What's he like? Six foot four, five yeah. or something like that. About that. I think he had martial arts training back in the day. He's got grace with his feet. He's just. He, he's another superhero. Oh, there he goes. Obama Yang. Yeah. Brett Dortmund. Quick for days. Oh, that's all you. Ooh. Oh, that's all you. Yeah. Oh, down we go, down yeah, we go. down we go, quick. You got that, yeah. I've got this, I've got this. OK. <laughs> Strong midfielders. Yeah. Who comes to mind? Tory. I think he's a man mountain. I think that he bullies defenders and midfielders. You want to test yourself against other beasts. And I think Tory's a beast. Yeah. Light work, all the way up. That's it, light work. <laughs> that's it, one more. OK, so what about stamina? It's got to be my Tweedy, PSG. Animal. Guy's a machine. Keeps going. Yeah. Yeah. I can feel it enlightened me to some great players and some muscles I never knew I had. So we've got speed, strength, stamina. We're definitely strong. But I need to make sure that we're mentally strong. Yeah. Going. How are you? All right, good to meet you. How are you doing? Yeah, good to see you. Why would a footballer want to see someone like yourself? Well, you know what? Success and failure is so in your face. So footballers need help on confidence, focus, yeah. managing emotion. So essentially, I help them to stay relaxed through that success and failure. And why have you brought me to a golf course? Well, you know what? I find this to be the perfect place to help players manage their emotions, to teach them how to relax. <clears throat> Should we get the buggy? The ball's just there, actually. Now it's gone over there. That must be someone else's. No, it's just there. Get the buggy down. OK. So, I'm picking my 11 players. Mentally, who needs to be the strongest? For me, Lloyd, it's the goalkeeper. Right. It's the toughest position mentally. You've got to take risks. You've got to be fearless. A prime example is the German keeper, Manuel Neuer. He's the sweeper keeper, right? He calls himself a goal preventer. He's focused, but he plays with freedom. 
So, you know, Lloyd, when, when we talk about mentally tough players, you know, I think of um, Navas. He had that enormous task of filling the huge boots of Casillas. To a normal person, there would be huge amounts of doubts and worries related to, am I going to be good enough? Don't make a mistake. Don't ruin this opportunity. And you can guarantee that Navas, to achieve what he has achieved at Real Madrid, to play really, really well, that he's, he's you know, had fantastic self-talk. And it's going to be important for this shot here. Do you want to um, take the flag out? No, 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 leave it in. There we go. Cool. The ultimate team member is a great individual, but also a great teammate. And to be a great teammate, you have to be able to look at the game through the eyes of your team members. So if we take somebody like Courtois at Chelsea, the fact that he is a, 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 a multilinguist, he speaks many languages, is a real advantage to him. He's got to boss that back line, he's got to lead the back line, and he can do that verbally in many different times. So tongues. what you're saying there is, in order for me to be a professional goalkeeper, I need to learn more languages? I think that could be an essential ingredient to your progression a within lot, the game. Yeah, because a lot of people say it's like height and weight and that lot, but I think what you've just said there is probably languages, isn't it? Ah, oh, what a shot. Are you any closer to choosing a goalie off the back of that? The forerunners are Navas, Courtois, Neuer and Griffith. They're the keepers that we spoke about today. Mi nombre es Lloyd. Dan was great, gave me some quality advice and a great little tip about languages. As a result, I've just signed up for Spanish for Beginners and I am ready to become El Goalkeeper Grande. So, a mate of mine has hooked me up with a manager. Won't tell me his name, but he lives pretty close to Wembley and apparently is a bit of a big dog. I think we all know who this is going to be. That up all right? Yeah, OK. Lloyd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha-ha, <laughs> Nathaniel, man. Boom. Get inside. Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take shoes off, coat off. Let's go. Yep. Cheeky. Think it. Oh. No. Oh, Referee, oh, please have words. Oh. oh, what's that, mate? That's just a world class key, but it just is. It just is. You obviously play a lot of FIFA. FIFA a is lot of my ultimate art. team. Yes. So I'm on the quest to find the team of the year, the 11 best footballers from around the globe. And I'm hoping you might be able to give me some recommendations as to who I should have in my team of the year. Um, Any one? Oh, OK. Good goal. Well, when it comes to ultimate team, I play smart. You know, I don't really go for the big names. I go for players that some people would call overpowered. OK, like who? Victor Ibarbo. Pace, good in the air, dribbling. Yeah. Everything you want. OK, and anyone else you want to recommend? Solomon Rondon. Mate, tell you now, set pieces, whip a ball in, get it on his noggin, heads the ball like a goddess. On this game, untouchable. Yeah, no, I'm looking for the 11 best players in the world, not in the, not in the game, in real life, like in the world. You can go with Griezmann, Messi, Oscar. Barbo, Rondon. You're being serious, aren't you? These are hidden gems, son. Um, that's the full-time whistle. I yeah. should, um, I should, I should probably go. Yeah, but before you go, this guy is better than me at FIFA. This guy is better than me at FIFA. The guy that lives in his house, is better than me at FIFA. He didn't deserve to play a noob like me. I'm sorry for wasting his time. The manager turned out to be a foot manager, but still lives with his mum. I mean, lovely kid, but he honestly thought there was no difference between playing football with his fingers and playing football with his feet. If he was in the change room, I'm gonna be like, guys, you need to RT more. You need to RT more. And then beer in, beer in, right? I don't know what you're doing. You, there's a few A's and Y's there. I use X, I use X. Exit then, exit. Anyway, time to get back to the real world. I need a right back and I need a left wing. If only I could speak to Gary Neville and Ryan Giggs about this. So, Ryan Giggs, Gary Neville, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> I've got to put a left winger into my team, team of the year. Any suggestions as to who I should have in there? I think some of the young and up-and-coming ones are the best in the last few years. You look at Dortmund, obviously Hazard at Chelsea, Royce at Dortmund there. Very different. Royce is a runner. I think predominantly makes great runs past the centre-forward. 
will sacrifice himself. It will be difficult to play against him, and he'd always be a goal-scoring threat. And he presents a different problem than, say, a Hazard, who is a dribbler, someone who will take the ball to you and will win penalties, win free kicks, uh, get too close and he'll roll you and go around you. So I think there's all sorts of different challenges being presented by players. And I think that none of these players that I mentioned are easy to play against. They're no. difficult to play against. They offer you a threat in different ways, running behind you without the ball or running with the ball at you. OK. So if I had to put one right back in my team, um, anyone, Ryan Giggs, who would you have as right back? I think the most complete right back in the modern day is Philip Lamb. Able to defend, able to attack, comfortable with the ball, can play a number of positions, but um, yeah, ultimately, as a right back, he had everything. You versus Philip Lam in my team of the year. <laughs> Did you go for me? I, obviously, I went for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you put yourself in the team over Lam? No. No? No. no? I've got awareness. You've got awareness? <laughs> Off the pitch. Yeah, yeah. Fair Off enough. The pitch, yeah. I feel pretty giddy. I mean, I've just met Ryan Giggs and Gary Neville, and um, I, th I think we got on quite well. We just gelled. There was a lot of positive energy between the three of us. It was like the class of 2015. Of all the left midfielders out there, who do you see yourself most as? That is not a question, is it? <laughs> Look, who most reminds me of yourself? Who <laughs> most reminds you of yourself? <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. How good did Ryan Giggs smell? He smelled beautiful, didn't he? So, I've got to pick one left-sided midfielder. Who would you go for? Well, the best in that position is Ronaldo. Yeah? He can play on the right, he can play centre-forward, but he's the best. He's the one who's got everything. If you're on a booking and you're a right-back, you're in trouble if you're against Ronaldo. Brilliant. Cheers. I've got to stop saying cheers at the end of it. You've been doing that all the way through. <laughs> Thank you. 42, thank you. About... <laughs> I was excited, but I was not nervous. Just because I said thank you nine times after one question does not mean I'm nervous. It just meant I was very grateful for the input. I've got 144 names, which is too big for a football team. I need to find a way to clear my mind. You must be the uh, spiritual shaman. I mean, you're not exactly how I envisage. You're like a professional footballer. <laughs> OK. What I'm looking for is a bit of clarity, a bit of focus, and some, I guess, spiritual guidance. So I hope that you might be able to help me. Shoes up. Yeah, I'm trying to, mate. Hello, drop. <laughs> Can the drum go to a pavement? Oh. This is not clearing my mind. Oh my days! My mind is clear. I can see my team. However, I need to speak to one more person. Hola. Hola. Soy Lloyd. Cora. I'm on the quest to find the team of the year, the 11 best players from around the world. I'm hoping you might be able to help with my formation. Sí, por qué no, dale. Yes, yes. OK, so I'm thinking... Cuatro... Cuatro... Dos. Cuatro, cuatro, dos. ¿Sí? Mm, no, yo mejoraría un... Cuatro, tres, tres. Aye. What about tres, cuatro, tres? Yo empezaría mejor cuatro, tres, tres, y después vemos. Cuatro, tres, tres, sí. Vale. 
So I'm going to put you up front because you're the greatest player in the world. Well, no sé si soy el mejor. Lo que sí es verdad que para intentar ser el mejor se necesita el, el mejor equipo del mundo. Well, speaking of um, the greatest in the world, I'm probably going to put myself in goal as well. Or not. I mean, it's just, you know, still... Let's not rush about that. Let's, we can think about that. Encantado, Yot. Y mucha suerte con tu equipo. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Okay, I'm ready. It's been a long journey. We've asked various experts. What I've realized is that there's so many good players out there, but I can only pick 11. I've done that. This is it. Gentlemen, having spoken to some of the finest minds in football and also a llama, I present to you my team of the year. <clears throat> in goal, Manuel Neuer, Lloyd Griffith, second choice goalkeeper. In defense, Jordi Alba, Rafael Varane. Phil Jagielka, Philip Lahm in midfield, Adrien Rabiot, Blaise Matuidi, Yaya Toure, Victor Ibarbo, didn't quite make it. Up front, Cristiano Ronaldo, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Lionel Messi. That was my team of the year. What's yours? Comment below. Martin, Martin, that's pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. Can I get a lift? Cheers. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.